Okay, so I'm at Walmart and I'm uh, gonna purchase uh, two things. This is a RCA 100 watt home speaker uh, theater system. I'm purchasing this for a smaller 50 inch television. And then this one right here, I'm purchasing from my guest room. This is a thousand watt home theater system. And I don't need a Blu-ray player for this television because of the fact that I have an Xbox one which is the best system despite the fact that ps4 is killing xbox in sales the simple fact of the matter is ps4 is for poor people you know who can't afford the extra hundred dollars for connect but you know uh, the economy has been pretty rough on people so you can't pass judgment on everybody when you visit the big truck series review residence you visit in style visitors rooms or guest quarters you might want to call them come with a 50 inch vizio television and a 1000 watt home theater system so long as you keep the sound down when i'm around we've got no problem but the second you turn this shit up you got a problem so basically this is like a review of the uh what is it called this is a review of the rca 1000 watt home theater speaker system this retails for a hundred and $68, I think. Um, I'm looking for the model number because I like to be thorough. Oh, yeah, there's the model number. RT2781BE. So basically, this is a uh, home theater system. And um, all RCA products, you know, you get a remote. These are the wires. This is the uh, remote. Now, RCA had changed the last remote that they had on the RTB Blu-ray player. I didn't like the new remote. This remote is actually easier to use because it's more intuitive. The volume's on this side, um, the channel up and down. This one doesn't have channel up and down because this one doesn't operate the television. But this is a theater system that can pretty much accept typical components like, uh, you know, like Xbox One and PS4. If, you know, you didn't have enough money for an Xbox One, you can always buy it later. You know, because you know PS4 was cheaper, so that's why they were selling better. Because you know, a hundred dollars is a lot of money to some people. You know, I think they call those people the bottom, um, the bottom ninety-eight percent or something like that. But um, I don't know nothing about that. So anyway, this is the system. All this Chinese-made fucking cheap shit. Everything's made in China. Fucking Sony is supposed to be Japanese. Shit's made in fucking China. I don't know what that's about. So in any event, um, what we got? You have a front auxiliary three, line in, and headphones. This device also has Bluetooth audio, so I can plug my iPhone to it, or I should say I can connect my iPhone to it. It's very light, like it's not heavy at all because um, it's pretty much hollow. Mostly it's just circuit boards and an empty space in order to dissipate heat better. This accepts 120 volts, 60 hertz. That's America's typical American uh, wattage. It does not look like this has 220, so you definitely couldn't order this and have it shipped over to Britain or um, you know Australia or anything. Whoever has 220, it has. Digital audio, it accepts what? Ooh, it's got two optical ends. That's perfect because I got one from my TV and I got one from the Xbox. That's perfect. Or I could do one from the Xbox, one from the PS4. But I'm going to definitely just hook this up to the Xbox. I'm not hooking it up to the PS4. So anyway, um, left and right audio. This is analog. Most people don't use this anymore. There is no HDMI option. But that's no big deal because if you have a typical HD television, all you got to do is get that optical cable. If I were you buy it on eBay, in fact, you should buy a couple because they're relatively cheap. What they do is they ship it direct from China and they skip the middleman. And these are your typical um, stereo wire connections. All you got to do is plug your uh, subwoofer in there, center channel, front right, front left. And, it, you know, there's not there's nothing to it. The FM antenna is right here, ground, AM, and loop. There's, n there's nothing to it. It's, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, and uh, that's, that's it for right now. So basically, that's the unit. That's the unit. And um, now I'm going to plug this bad boy up and see what we got. We put a lot of money into these public health resources as a result of the worries about bioterrorism right. back, in the, back in the 90s and 2000s. And so these have been beefed up. 
Okay, all right. Thank you all very much. Still ahead, another wild, wild week on Wall Street. So what's driving the stock market swings and what does it mean for the American economy? This is our new turkey cranberry flatbread. Xbox, go to Battlefield 4. The amazingly tender roasted turkey. Xbox, go to Battlefield 4. The zesty cranberry mustard. See, the only thing is I got to talk over the system because it's so loud. So anyway, let me just activate this. The care and attention that goes into it. Because what matters most is the simple, delicious ingredients that make up the whole delicious meal made just for you. And this is our turkey cranberry flatbread sandwich. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna hear the uh, opening intro. So I'll use that as a judge of the uh, power that the thing has. some good music. Um, I don't know what a good music channel is. But I'm gonna eject the disc. I'm gonna eject the disc because I want to see the uh, beginning game uh, intro sound. Okay, so this thing automatically is set to the source is already there. You can either leave the subwoofer at balance, or you could set it to stronger, or you could set it to powerful. I usually use it on balance, so this way it doesn't drown out the other center channels or the other channels. So I'll leave it at balance. And, uh,. It also has a distance setting where you can set the distance of each speaker, 10 feet, surround sound, 10 feet, this, that, and other. You also can set the level of decibels for each speaker if you need to increase the sounds you get out of individual speakers. You can, it has uh, presets right here. There are a couple of presets. Presets allow you to um, set the uh, preset for more bass or more rock. Rock sound basically gives you a higher uh, high pitches. All right, I'm joining Siege of Saying Hi. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to back out because I, I just want to hear the intro music. Just to get because I, I like the intro music for this game. Okay, here we go. See what it's got. Oh, speakers you fuck <laughs> just testing the speakers guy calm down all right Attack this objective. let's turn it up to uh subwoofer for strong You team killing pieces. What's wrong with you, fucking team? What's wrong with you, asshole? 
I'm not going to use the uh, manual. I did not read the manual. But what I am going to do is I'm going to connect this thing to my uh, iPod Touch. And I'm going to test the sound quality. And I'm going to do it using common sense. I don't think I need to use the manual because everything is very straightforward and there's not that many buttons. So if I push source, I'm assuming that I can get right to uh, Bluetooth somewhere. That's coaxial, which I don't have. Auxiliary, no. Auxiliary 3. Line in. B BT. Okay. So, it says there's no Bluetooth. So, I'm assuming that if I activate this iPod, I'm assuming that I should be able to connect right away. How do you do that? Um, right, right, right. Settings. It's kind of hard to see because I'm looking at one phone and I'm trying to look at the second one. Okay, Bluetooth. Let's see. If I turn this on, what does it find? RCA RT20, right? It says it right away. Pair. I don't know if there's a pairing code, but usually when there is a Bluetooth pairing code, it's usually 0000. zero, zero, zero. It's usually like four zero. So let's see if this thing will pair. I don't see any. Uh, let's see if it'll pair. Connected. See, that was really quick and straightforward. RCA, RCA actually has some pretty good, uh, what are they called, uh, user interfaces. So let's see right here. Um, let's see right here. If I go to uh, music, let's see. Um, let's see if I get some decent testing music. Where's Colony Wars? I like Colony Wars. NYPD, no, Chris Rock. Porno? Oh, no, no. And no, 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 no. It was Colony Wars. Is Colony Wars on here? Let's see. Oh, oh shit. It's kind of hard watching one screen and looking at another. Oh, there's no Colony Wars here. Okay. No big deal. I'll use, uh, I'll use Istanbul. Oh, shit. Wait, okay. Let me, let me watch the other thing. I S T should be there. Okay, wait, where is it? Where is it? You gotta use music that's not tagged because if you use tagged music, you end up, um, if you use tagged music, what'll happen is YouTube will sense you. Okay, so right now it should be playing. So let's see. Uh, it works as expected. It works as expected. So um, basically, that's it. It's very simple to use, and uh, the guests are gonna like it. And um, that's basically it. So if you have any specific questions about this unit, just uh, let me know, and I'll be sure to get right back to you.